Mr. Speaker, I've got one last question to ask, and I wonder if Representative Franson would yield. Representative Franson will yield. Representative Winkler. Mr. Speaker, earlier, Representative Franson, earlier in the session, you were asked, in what way does the top 2% of Minnesota earners contribute to this budget deficit solution? And I don't remember your answer, but it was something about class warfare. But I wonder if you can point out now, in any way, does the Republican budget ask the richest Minnesotans to pay anything, to do anything to solve this problem? The member from Douglas, Representative Franson. Representative Winkler, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Representative Winkler, I'm not exactly sure where you're going to if you're trying to intimidate us on the floor using your big fancy words. The fact of Minnesota is, we are not going to raise taxes and kill business to grow government. That's it. And when you say that majority of Minnesotans are expecting us to do that, that is incorrect. The majority are Republicans sitting on this side. We represent those people that have elected us to keep their taxes down and not raise them. So quit with the rhetoric and stop grandstanding. The member from Hennepin, Representative Winkler. Well, Mr. Speaker, I, I'll not try to use fancy words like shared sacrifice because they're obviously in discern or I mean they're incomprehensible on your side.